So today I am out at Smith Rock State Park. This is uh, in Oregon, probably one of my top five places. They're all my top five places to shoot, let's be honest. They're all just amazing. Um, I've been to this park several times and it never gets old and it's always a, just an incredible um, photography opportunity. Um, got some possibility for just a little bit of clouds tonight. It's gonna be sunset, um, possibly a sunrise in the morning but uh, I am spending the night, but it's just a matter of, uh, you know, just hoping for good light and finding a composition that just shows off these amazing mountains behind me, um, this rock feature that's just incredible. So let me show you what it looks like. So Smith Rock faces east, so it's more of a sunrise location because when the sun comes up, it's going to hit that rock face behind me. Really, it'll light it up really, really nice. But um, for sunset, it can still work because the sun is going to rise or set, um, and it'll start to light up just a little bit behind me. It won't uh, do it as well as it does for sunrise, but it'll still, if the sun is able to poke through, we got some clouds uh, that, that might basically just extinguish that that hope but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed um, but I did find a composition I like really uh, uh, quite a lot so let me show you what it looks like so the composition looks very similar to this I'll show it on the back of the camera if I can but uh, I've got in my foreground I'm gonna have these um, these yellow this yellow gorgeous grass that's just it almost looks like it's glowing even when there's no light on it, um, which is really going to help my foreground interest. A few rocks, and I've got on the other side, um, right over in here, I've also got some yellow uh, grass, which is going to help. Then I've got my leading line for my river. I've got this great rock face here on the right, and then the, the rock face over here on the left. The sun is going to set somewhere in here, and as it sets, uh, it should light these clouds up here, hopefully really nicely. So I'm having to bracket my shots, and some of you might be wondering, well, how do you know when to bracket your shots? When do you need to? When do, can you get away with just a single, a single exposure? Well, um, basically, my rule of thumb is if I am, in order to preserve highlights in the sky, uh, I am underexposing the image, the overall image, by like, a, you know, a stop or a stop and a half or more because, you know, because of the, uh, again, trying to keep the sky from being blown out, I'm going to have to bracket because my otherwise my foreground is going to be way, way, way too dark and I'm going to lose, I'm either going to get noise in my shadows or um, I am going to lose detail in those shadows when it gets to, you know, gets more than a, a, a stop underexposed. And I want to make sure I've got clean shadows and I want to make sure that I can pull as much detail out of that as possible. And the easy way to do that is simply to bracket your shots so that you can um, save those highlights in the sky and then you can preserve those sh that shadow detail in the foreground. So today is a perfect example of that. So when you look at the sky, you can see the sky is like just, I mean, it's, it's extremely bright compared to as I go down, you can see that it was silhouetted and then as the, the, you know, the video camera basically adjusted, the sky even blew out more to get any kind of detail down here you know, in the bottom of, you know, down by the river, down in the bottom there. So this is an example of having to bracket your photos, bracket those shots in order to preserve and get the best, you know, the best results. And you can combine that in Lightroom. You don't have to use Photoshop, 
but you'll need to combine those in post in order to bring out the best of both worlds. Um, so over here, right over in here, it's extremely bright and on the camera it's probably going to, on the video, it's probably just going to be all blown out. Uh, but there's actually detail all throughout that, those light areas besides where the sun actually is, but there's actually detail there. So you want to make sure that you retain that. So you're going to have to just don't worry about all of this going dark and you're just going to take and increase your shutter speed until that area of just real brightness is not blown out so that you can blend that into post. So while I'm waiting on a sunset that just that may not happen, why don't you head over to my website, www.jamesparkerphoto.com. Sign up for my newsletter. I promise not to try to sell you presets or any other stuff, and I'm not going to spam you to death. I'll only send out emails letting you know when I'm holding workshops, where I'm going, and the big things that I'm doing that you might be interested in. And you can opt out, obviously, at any time. So go visit my website and come back in a few minutes, and we'll find out, well, I'll find out if there's going to be a sunset or not. Okay, so the sky is finally starting to get really pretty. Uh, it's starting to catch some color and there's these nice gradations and little layers of clouds up there, which is really, really cool. So it's time to start, uh, it's catching some light on the edges of the clouds. So it's time finally to start taking some photos. Uh, F16, ISO 100, I'm very lucky tonight. There's no wind, so I don't have to worry about any motion in any of the grass that's uh, in the four, what's little bits that's in my foreground. Um, so the shutter is, speed's doing whatever it needs. I'm still obviously having to bracket and I'm just letting the camera do it. I'm making sure I've got one stop that is overexposed, one at zero, and the other ones can be underexposed. That makes sure that my sky, I need to get this because the light's kicking off, um, that makes sure that my sky is going to look great uh, when, I, <clears throat> when I blend those in post-processing. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. So that was worth waiting every single second for. Absolutely awesome. I know I got some great shots from the sunset. Waiting was worth every, every second and being freezing cold. Um, thanks for watching. Here are the photos that I got. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.